Uh, thank you very much. Judge, after me, only five to go. <laughs> <laughs> but sit back for a second, because uh, I don't have questions right away. I actually have a number of things I, I just want to say, because this has been uh, not a surprise, given the history that we all know, not a surprise, but uh, perhaps a little bit of a disappointment, uh, some of the things that have been said in, in this hearing. Uh, the way you have dealt with some of these things, um, that's why you are a judge and I am a politician, because you have sat with grit and grace and have shown us uh, just extraordinary uh, demeanor. I, I love my brother, Tim Scott. We could write a dissertation on our disagreements. He gave the best speech on race. You got here how every black woman in America who's gotten anywhere has done by being... <laughs> Uh, like Ginger Rogers said, I did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. <laughs> and then I try to get out to the president what it means. What it means. And I want to tell you when I look at you, this is why I get emotional. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're a person that is so much more than your race and gender. You're a Christian, you're a mom, you're you're, you're an intellect, you love books, but for me, I'm sorry, I, I, it's hard for me not to look at you and not see my mom, not to see my, my cousins, one of them who had to come here and sit behind you. She had, to be, she had to have your back. I see my ancestors and yours. Nobody's gonna steal the joy of that woman in the street or the calls that I'm getting or the texts Nobody's going to steal that joy. You have earned this spot. You are worthy. You are a great American. That is the story of how you got to this desk. And so you faced insults here that were shocking to me. Well, actually not shocking. But you are here because of that kind of love. And nobody's taken this away from me. So you got five more folk to go through, <laughs> five more of us. And then you can sit back and let us have all the debates. And I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a well-charted Senate floor because it's not gonna stop. They're gonna accuse you of this and that. Heck, in honor of your person who shares your birthday, you might be called a communist. But don't worry, my sister, don't worry. God has got you. And how do I know that? Because you're here. And I know what it's taken for you to sit in that seat. Today, you're my star. You are my harbinger of hope. This country is getting better and better and better. And when that final vote happens and you ascend onto the to the highest court in the land, I'm going to rejoice. And I'm going to tell you right now, the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, will be better because of you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Senator Booker. We're going to take a 10-minute break and come back and have the last five senators ask their questions. <laughs> Everything is great.